How's it going, everybody? Another unboxing video. This is Kaiju May Addict. As if you guys didn't know my name, because these videos don't get the views, it's the reviews. And then, if you stay, hopefully you watch these because you're interested. So, let's see what we got. We got a box from eBay. What? What could this be? What could this be? Well, there's only one thing it could be. I ordered this on s Friday, Saturday, 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 or this on Saturday, and it's already here on Wednesday. It wasn't supposed to be here till like Friday or Saturday, and it got here, here. So, super hyped about this. This is the only SH figure arts Dragon Ball Z figure out of the new releases that I didn't order because I'm stupid, which should probably give it away what it is. Except you guys don't know, because I don't think I talked about it, because I was salty that I wasn't able to order him. We've got Raccoon. <laughs> We've got Raccoon. Yep. Finally. Um, let's not talk about how much I spent on him. Let's just not. I, I spent even more for him, because at the time, it was, the, it was Saturday night, it was the first night that me and both of my housemates were in the house and um let's just say there was some drinks some drinking and i was like oh i need to get him because if i don't he's gonna be even more expensive than he is and then i was like but i want him right away so I went to eBay, I put on the US sellers only, and this was the lowest one, and the best deal, and the quickest one. And yeah, I spent like, we're just not going to talk about it. Way more than retail. Way more than retail. I'm not saying it's not worth it, because out of all of them, this is the one that I wanted. Because, um, because you guys don't know, for Dragon Ball Z, my first, uh, first DVD set was the old Pioneer dub of the Vegeta versus Raccoon battle. So Raccoon's kind of got a very special place in my heart and in my mind for that. So I kind of said when I wasn't able to get him, I was salty about it. And I was like, oh, he won't be too bad. He'll be like Gohan. He won't go up. And then he was like Jace where he doubled and then he tripled and then the US got him and then he sat somewhere in the middle of double and triple. And now I looked just to kind of see. It looks like he's getting closer to quad than triple. So if you guys don't have him, pick him up. I'm serious. Let's check him out. Holy crap. Holy crap, he's gigantic. <laughs> like, I knew he was going to be big. But this is like broly big. Bro okay, we're opening him. We're opening up. I, I don't... This week, I actually legitimately don't have a lot of uh, unboxings to do. So we're gonna... This one will definitely not be the 25-minute Goliath that the last week's was. But it's definitely... I'm still gonna make it a little bit of content. This one will get up on time. That one didn't just because, like... I worked nine days in a row at work, and then I had four days off, but all four days I was literally moving and, like, handling big and heavy stuff. And now I do another seven-day work week, so... I'm tired. <laughs> to say that is an understatement. I'm pretty tired, but that's okay. Okay... Oh, this is always a scary... Okay, it looks like everything's fine. Okay. Interesting. For being cold out here in South Dakota, he's... Personally, not that cold. I expected him to be freezing. Really good thigh joints. His biceps. Okay, the biceps aren't stuck on him. So I won't have to do any finagling. That's why there hasn't been any really posts about 
Jace and uh, Bardock, both of them have one upper arm swivel that's super tight, and I just haven't uh, conducted myself to getting those uh, re-loosened to mess with. So I, I just, ooh. That was, that was actually a little nerve wracking. Okay. Um, awesome. All the joints are opened up, ready to go. Um, can say, this is definitely gonna be my favorite out of the Ginyu Force members. Um, let's not drop the accessories, shall we? Clean floor, really easy floor to see things, but let's just not. Let's get him up to the camera quick, just to, just to see him, look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really, 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 really in love with him. This is everything I wanted and more out of a SH figure arts raccoon character or figure. So, uh, yeah, dude. Oh, it just helps that he got here really quick too. Like, I'm just pleased with this transaction. I am fine with paying how much I paid for him. Okay, let's let's just get that out of the bat. I am fine with what I paid, you know, for as much as I could. You know, I'm as fine with it as much as I can because I, I really can't change it, you know. I didn't get him in time. I had to pay aftermarket prices. I should have learned from Jace and Gohan, but I didn't because I'm stupid. But we have him here now, and he's really good. I, I might make a video on him, honestly. Like, a review. I, I haven't been reviewing the highly articulated figures yet because I haven't figured out a good way how to keep those videos minutes down. Kind of like what I'm doing now, this unboxing seven minutes. I thought it would only be like three or four. But uh, <laughs> um, I haven't figured out how I can do these in a quick manner yet. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I'm not gonna ramble on too much because I still have to eat since I'm only on lunch. Um, he's awesome. This figure's amazing. If you haven't bought him, if you're okay with shelling out the money for him, I'd do it. I'd do, I honestly, I, I'd tell you guys over and over and over again to do it. He's incredible. So much likeness. Just the size of him. He's a good size. Very good size. Yeah, because he's just as big as Thanos. Just as big as Thanos. Except he's got all the extra girth to him as well. <laughs> all right well that's gonna be it uh um if in case the other box which i haven't talked about yet but i'm so excited for um i spent a pretty penny just like this guy i spent a pretty uh, pretty penny on something that i didn't get um that's godzilla related and i've been wanting it for literally since it came out. It never had a US release. It was never in Big Bad Toy Store. Thus, me spending the $270 I just spent on it is okay. So I that's all I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's an expensive Godzilla figure. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, if this does happen, if he happens to not get here this week, um, this should be it. Because Frieza is getting released in Japan this week. And the only thing that I might have this week is the Cavity Colors Godzilla vs. Kong collection. But that will only be a few minutes since it's closed. I can't really show off those. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... I'll probably sit down. As you can see, this shelf hasn't been cleared yet because I've been meaning to sit down, get them in their poses, figure out where I want them on the shelves right now, or the shelf. Um, I might buy an extra shelf after work today, even though I shouldn't because I don't have that much money, but I really need to get these off of here so I can do my videos. So, yeah. Anyways, 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the boxing and my honest reactions to Raccoon just being a beef about pho. Um, if you guys would love to support, the best way is to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more crazy kaiju anime content, I guess. I don't know. I was going to try to figure out a way to put music in there, but you guys can see the Stone Sour poster, kind of. Now you can. Um, we're actually getting really close to a room tour. Um, what I think I'm going to do is if I buy my two half stands or my half shelf and then I need like a medium one for my closet, if I get those done and I get them set up, I get all the totes out of here, I get the room looking nice, we're gonna do that room tour. And then hopefully by the end of May, beginning of June, kind of around birthday time, um, I'm gonna do the one with the lights. I think I'm gonna wait on the lights until I get all my furniture in here first which it pretty much is just two shelves because I need one to fit the closet and I need one to fit the end of the bed. And that's pretty much it. Oh, nah, actually, I'll save that for another video. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Kajime Addict, out. Ah. How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is super, super surprise unboxing. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say. <laughs> this was not expected. Um, I saw this and decided one more purchase with the credit card can't hurt. So, um, this is a super, super surprise. I've been wanting this for four or five years now. It's never had a nice, healthy release in the U.S. either, so it's always been, like, an expensive thing or something you always had to pay extra money to get. Um, I will say, and this is a first for me, um, I bought this used. It was a really good deal. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, it was a really good deal for a used one. I spent a quarter of what I normally would have paid for it, I think. Or not a quarter, but, like... You know what I mean. Like, I paid a lot less for this than I would. Okay, it does come with the box. Oh, God. I'm so scared. <laughs> so, 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 so scared. It's a big boy. Holy cow. Packed super nice. Uh, what looks to be Japanese newspaper, which is odd because it came from the U.S., yeah? Yeah, came from the U.S. So, I guess... That's my <laughs> So, um, just for a little side note before I show what this is, um, if you guys didn't know, my favorite Godzilla, I think, I, it tosses a lot, around a lot, it's really like a big, uh, D-match between Shin, 95 burning, and the legendary Godzilla, because I, uh, it's a really good design, let's be real. Um, but I think, like, overall, Shin's my favorite, so I think that kind of gives away what I finally got. <laughs> <sighs> Bro. <laughs> I had to make myself forget that this was delivered today, because this came here a few days early. Um, it was supposed to be next week, and then they moved it up to Saturday, and then they moved it up today, which is Friday. Okay, so like I said, he's used, he has been opened, which is normally not something I like with especially figures like this, but as I said, I got a really good deal. Um, even better than the last deal I was supposed to get on him. Oh my god, he's so big. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I was going to show you guys first. Oh, he's so good looking. Um, he's such a big box. Um, a little bit of wear, but that's okay. Um, but, uh, the last deal, I could have gotten him for about 265 used, which is normally really good. Uh, the guy I bought this from, he did a big old sale on the Monster Arts Facebook page. He had a used one and an opened one. I tried to get the open one, wasn't there in time because I was at work and I was kind of texting at work. Oops. Uh, <laughs> but then he said that the opened one was available. And after he had 100% made sure that his, uh, his new one was sold, I was like, well, I'm going to take this one because this is a really good deal 
it was even lower than the last deal I got. Um, because I could have gotten one, uh, what, three, four weeks ago, I think, for $275. But this one was $230. 230 So, really good deal because this guy now, since the last reissue of him a year and a half ago, two years ago, he was down at 130 for a bit, and now he's like $350, and then his uh, Awakening Final Climax version is like five to 600 now. Lovely. But, uh... So this figure, um, I'm gonna guess is the first run of it. Oh my god, he's so good. Um, he does have a loose upper torso and a loose tail, which is why I'm assuming he is the, uh, the first version. Um, the first one had a lot of, oh yeah. Ooh, that is really loose. That is really loose. Holy crap. I'm just gonna look him over quick. Yeah, it's this tail. You can tell it's a little wobbly. It's not too bad. It's still holding. Um, oh my god, what a hunk of chunk. Um, looking over all the spines quick, just to see if there's anything else that may have been forgotten or messaged, and it looks like there isn't. Otherwise, he looks pretty much brand new. Um, he said he was displayed for a little bit. I don't know how long. I'm going to guess he's probably had him since he came out, because 230 for this guy is a super steal. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, yeah. I uh, That tail joint seems locked. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, I am now the proud or owner of a Monster Art Shin Godzilla. Um, very proud, very happy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure, like, overall, at the end of the day, this is my favorite design. And this figure is immaculate. Um, I'm gonna sit him down here quick and just look at him from the front. Just to see if I can't notice anything weird. Anything that isn't out of the normal for this figure, I mean, paint can be weird. Oh yeah, there the tail, the tail really went down. Um, and honestly, he looks good. Uh, the reds aren't too bad. How about the eyes? But I, uh, so typical first release, one eye is pointing down, the other eye is looking kind of forward, so that's typical for this figure. Um... Otherwise, everything else looks what I would expect from this figure. Left or right thigh is also a little loose, but I think that's also standard. Yeah, look at that. Almost no opposability. Um, I mean, obviously, you get him the way himself down, and then he's fine. Um, but this tail, I'm going to have to figure something out about. But uh, how big that tail is. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm um, super psyched about this. That's a regular paint scuff right there. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> can I just pick him up again? Show him. He's incredible. <laughs> this makes me want the Climax version even more. Which is regrettable. As I said, he is pretty expendy. So I'm going to have to really wait around. Really plan out. Um, I guess I'll mention it here. Because I might as well. Um, I've made a goal for myself. So rather than doing kind of what I did. And just go crazy on figures. I'm starting to build a budget plan. Um, from pre-orders and stuff. But I also have three goals this year. There's three things by the end of 2021 I would like to own. Um, one of them, the the easiest one, the cheapest one, is the Gamera Memorial Box set. Um, I've actually already eyed a few down. I had a, last time I was drinking when I bought Raccoon, I told myself I couldn't order um, the Gamera set as well. So that one's not going to be too hard. Those are normally like only 100 bucks. So, because I want to finish the Gamera collection this year, so that's what, it's part of that. I want to finish the whole Gamera vinyl set, but mainly the Gamera Memorial Box I want to buy this year. And then I want the Climax version of him, which may or may not come off the list. 
like I said, really spendy, really spendy. I would have to really plan that one out. And the other thing that's even more spendy than that is the 50th Memorial box set. By the end of this year, I'd like to own it. I said I wanted to buy it next year at G-Fest, but seeing as I only, I don't even think it was at G-Fest 19, or if it was, it sold right away. Um, the only one I saw was the 40th, so I might save the 40th for G-Fest to make it super special, maybe. I don't know, but the I would like to own the 50th by the end of the year. But we'll see. That's a lot, and I have other things I want to do. I mean, concerts are coming back, so I'd rather spend on concerts this year than some of this stuff, so... In a perfect world, I would own the 50th. So the 50th is kind of like, eh, that's like a, eh, eh, maybe, eh, but I would like to, but we'll see. So, Shin Godzilla, Monsters, unboxing, done. He's amazing. I love him. I gotta send a message or two to the guy that sold it to me and thank him. And then... Yeah, I'm going to go eat some pizza rolls quick on lunch, get back to work, and go to dinner, buy my last shelf for my room, and then uh, set this guy up somewhere on the shelf with the rest of them, because he's a monstrosity of hell. Look at him. He's just fucking just demonic. So killer. I'm going to take so many pictures of this guy once I have my, <laughs> once I have a few more diorama setups. I cannot wait. He is... Yeah. Yeah, I'm in love. Alright. That's going to be all for this unboxing. Um, the Cavity Colors Godzilla vs. Kong merch is coming next week, so that will be in the next week's unboxing video. So this is it right here. I'm not getting anything else. So just Raccoon and God, uh, Shin Godzilla this week. Um, also shipping next week that we'll get here in two weeks. All the new Bandai, the four Bandai vinyls are all going to be here. So Godzilla Aquarius, um, Angiris, Manda, and I believe Jet Jaguar is also coming. So that will be at the beginning of May. And then I think that's it. Unless I buy something, which I don't think I am. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to do these sell these sales on, on Saturday on a group. And then that's going to be it, I think. And then I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to let my pre-orders come through. And then Frieza is at the end of the month. And yeah, so that's going to be about it for this week, guys. I'm going to film probably a few more vlogs throughout the next few days because there's been a lot of announcements, a lot of surprises like Dodoria for the figure arts line, which is kind of out of left field and kind of not. I'll talk about it in the video. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video uh, smaller this week. So peace, guys. See you guys later. Kajima Addict out. Be safe.